yeah here in this session i'm going to give you the basic introduction part of linear algebra basically before going to start any video or any topic we should have at least a particular objective that means our intention should be very clear towards the topic or that video coming to this linear algebra what is our objective is our objective is to find solution for system of linear equation solution for system of linear equations the entire linear algebra can be divided into three main topics three main topics those are those are first one matrix algebra okay and the second one is solution for system of linear equations okay system of linear equations and the third one is eigen values eigen values and eigen vectors eigen values and eigen vectors now we are going to start with solution for system of linear equations solution for system of linear equations first of all what is meant by system of linear equations and what is meant by solution okay to understand this i am going to give you some set of two equations which is nothing but a system of linear equations which is nothing but x plus y is equals to 2 and 3x plus 2y is equals to 5 2x plus 3y equals to 5 these two equations will form a system of linear equations now i would like to find the solution for this system of linear equations okay what is the solution means finding x and y finding x and y and uh, if i if i give this uh, equations to you how will you proceed how will you proceed yeah basically straight away by seeing these equations we will feel and we will try to match the coefficients of this x in the first equation and the coefficient of this x in the second equation okay we will try to match the equation so in order to match that what we will do we will try to multiply the entire first equation with 3 entire first equation with 3 so that we are going to get 3x plus 3y is equals to 6 x plus 3y equal to 6 after that we are going to perform some kind of addition some subtractions so that we can find the value of y here we can find the value of y here okay yeah after that we are going to get the value of x we are going to get x okay the process what we are applying here is inherently having some kind of operations that we use in finding solutions for system of linear equations what are the operations we are using some kind of row operations here we are row operations here and also we are performing some kinds of addition and subtractions here addition and subtraction here the same process is nothing but gauss elimination method gauss elimination method this is the one of the solution method this is one of the solution method in finding solution of system of linear equation this is the one of method to find the solution for system of linear equations what we are doing in this method is we are converting the given system of linear equations into into some upper triangular matrix form some upper triangular matrix form okay yeah this we are going to see in detail while we are seeing the topic of solution for system of linear equations solution for system of linear equations okay along with this along with this we have to know so many methods because because the taken system of linear equations is having only two unknown variables two unknown variables and this method is pretty handy to solve so that we can solve the system of linear equations by using this method okay if the if these equations increases by number that means if the number of equations increases and also the number of unknowns that we have to find out will increases then how we have to do how we have to do then then what kind of methods we have to apply those are solution methods for system of linear equations what are those those are solution methods they are solution methods they are solution methods okay coming to the solution method the first one is kramer's rule the first one is kramer's rule okay 
first one is commerce rule in this the number of unknowns uh, can be anything okay then and the number of unknowns uh, those unknowns can be find out by using determinant property by using determinant property okay determinant of a matrix okay determinant of a matrix by using the determinant concept we can find the the values of unknowns in Cramer's rule in Cramer's rule okay from where we will get the concept of determinant we are going to get the concept of determinant from this matrix algebra from this matrix algebra okay okay the next method coming to the next method the next method is matrix inversion method matrix inversion method okay matrix inversion method okay basically the system of linear equations we are going to model in the form of ax is equal to b ax is equal to b and our objective is to find the solution which is nothing but x i can get x as a inverse into b i can get x as a inverse into b so here the inverse of the matrix the inverse of the matrix we have to find in order to get the unknown matrix x yes. the unknown matrix x yes. from where i can get the knowledge of a inverse again i have to know the knowledge of matrix algebra to find the a inverse to find the a inverse okay yeah coming to third method coming to third method the third method is the most popular method which is rank method which is rank method okay which is rank method okay in this rank method we have to know the concept of rank we have to know the concept of rank okay rank of a matrix okay from where we are going to get the concept of rank again from matrix algebra only again from matrix algebra only okay see the first three solution methods in order to find the solution for system of linear equations is having its basics in matrix algebra is having its basics in matrix algebra okay that's why the matrix algebra is important in order to get the solution for system of linear equations that's why we regularly start the linear algebra with matrix algebra with matrix algebra okay coming to the fourth method which is which is gauss elimination method gauss elimination method gauss elimination method in this method in this method we are going to take this form ax equals to b ax equals to b and we will try to convert this a into some upper triangular matrix upper triangular matrix so that the values of unknowns let x y z can be easily find out by using this way in which previously we have taken as example we have taken as example then the same method can be applicable to any number of equations any number of equations okay that is the gauss elimination method coming to fifth one gauss jordan method the fifth one is gauss jordan method okay gauss sorry coming to fifth one which is gauss jordan method what we are going to do this in this matrix in this method we are going to consider matrix okay along with the constants along with the constants and we are going to convert this part as unit matrix form then this entire for entire for portion into unit matrix form okay so that from so that we are from this form we are going to get the values of unknowns directly but how how we have to get this form how we have to get this form means we have to perform some kinds of row operations we have to perform some kinds of row operation okay in order to bring it into unit matrix form okay whereas whereas in matrix case while finding determinant and all we can apply column operations also you can perform column operations also but coming to the solution methods of system of linear equations we should not perform any kind of column operations we should not perform any kind of column operations why what is the reason behind that what is the reason is if we perform any kind of column operations then the coefficients of y and the coefficients of x those are both are going to be interchange interchanged and interlinked 
okay though so the actual system itself is going to be changed before getting the exact solution before going to, to get the exact solution so we are going to end up with wrong answer that's why we have to know the difference between the methods that we are performing in matrix algebra and the methods that we are performing in getting the solution of a system of linear equation this point we have to keep in mind this point we have to keep in mind okay yeah coming to the next type of solution method is is lu decomposition method lu decomposition method okay in this method we are going to decompose a given matrix a given matrix into a product of lower lower triangular and upper triangular matrices lower triangular and upper triangular matrices for this uh, regarding this method we can see in detail while taking the different solution method different solution method okay coming to the next type of solution next type of solution method which is the most important as far as concern as applications of this linear algebra in power systems which is which is gauss seidel method which is gauss seidel method okay okay this is the most important method as application point of view as application point of view because it is having its applications in load flow studies of power systems load flow studies of power system in detail we are going to see this gauss seidel method so that the concept of gauss seidel method and its application in power systems is going to be very easy for us very easy for us okay yeah these are the most popular and most highly used solution methods in order to get the solution of a system of linear equations system of linear equation on a whole on a whole from the beginning what we have seen what we have seen is we have seen the relation between matrix algebra and the solution methods of system of linear equations system of linear equations now we are able to interlink the matrix algebra with solution for system of linear equations and we can conclude in order to get the solutions of system of linear equations we are trying to know the concept of matrix algebra that is the thing but so many students or so many people feel that the immediately after listening the word linear algebra they are directly feel that it is completely matrix but this is not completely matrix but we are using matrix as application and we are in order to get the solutions for system of linear equations solutions for system of linear equations in detail we are going to see this solution methods while we are having the concept in our course okay coming to the next topic and applications point of view the most important topic which is eigen values and eigen vectors eigen values and eigen vectors what is the topic eigen values and eigen vectors okay eigen values and eigen vectors eigen values and eigen vectors we we can explain the concept of eigen values and eigen vectors by using an expression ax is equals to lambda x ax is equals to lambda x here we call x as eigen vector eigen vector and lambda as eigen value and lambda as eigen value as far as this linear algebra is concerned our intention is to find the eigen values and the corresponding eigen vectors only eigen values and eigen vectors only but coming to the application point of view it is the very important topic for both control systems and as well as for signal sum systems how first of all we can take we can see from signal sum system point of view from signal sum system point of view what is that if i consider the matrix a which is transformation matrix which is transformation matrix okay otherwise then an indirect representation of a system an indirect representation of a system okay indirect representation of system and i am taking a matri matrix x and i am taking the multiplication with a so i am going to get the same matrix what i have taken here x along with some multiple along with some multiple which is called as eigen value which is called as eigen value which is called as eigen value mostly in the in the signal sum system we can call the same eigen vector as eigen function 
<laughs> excuse me okay we can call the same eigenvector as eigen function many people may not able to correlate both both these things but this eigen vector and eigen fact eigen function both are same and this is the most important topic as signals point of view because the uh, the fourier series and all the all the types of transforms will exactly start from the concept eigen function will exactly start from the concept eigen function as coming to controls this is the most important topic as far as modern control theory is concerned modern control theory is concerned in that modern control theory we are going to see this transformation matrix and also this eigen value this eigen value okay well, on a whole this is the application point of view this linear algebra is most important topic because we can connect the topics that are in this linear algebra into power systems and controls and as well as for signals also and a few more things students or people should remember that the matrix algebra is just we are using as a supporting tool in order to get the solution for system of linear equations and some kind of operations that can be allowed in matrix algebra but not allowed in finding the solution for system of linear equations so solution for system of linear equation this is the interrelation between the topics that are in the linear algebra linear algebra because in order to get the solution for system of linear equations we have to get the sufficient knowledge in matrix algebra that's why immediate to the next immediate to this session i'm going to start matrix algebra in the next video thank you